The biggest butter factory in the country has opened in Shropshire. It's a £17 million investment at the Muller site, which will create 100 new jobs. And they'll be turning out 45,000 tonnes of butter a year. But what does this mean for the dairy industry here? In the past, farmers have carried out direct action with protest marches and blockades, angry at prices. Let's go live now to David Gregory Kumar. David, how do farmers feel about this expansion? Oh, well, they welcome it, Mary. Now, Muller say they're looking to invest about £20 million over the next five years in Shropshire. They have various plants in the county. Uh, and all of that investment starts with this brand new butter factory, as you said. Uh, and we went for an exclusive look behind the scenes a bit earlier on the set today. This is what you know Muller for. They make 1.5 billion pots of yoghurt here in their market Drayton factory every year. And now for the first time, they're going to be making butter here in the UK as well. So the cream comes in one end of this big noisy machine. By the time it leaves here, it's well on its way to becoming butter, up to 10 tonnes an hour. But at this time of year, you might not want to turn all your cream into butter. You could make more money selling it in pots for us to put on our mince pies. And so what this machine does is give Muller options. For now, it's these massive 25 kilogram blocks for the catering trade. But there is talk eventually of Muller butter for the supermarket shelves too. Part of what we're going to be announcing today, we're actually accelerating our plans to uh, also invest in a retail packet butter line. So as of the summer of uh, next year, uh, we will be seeing uh, retail packet butter on the shelves. Uh, and we're also looking at plants. What can we do from a brand that's our point of view, either in this country or even export? So it might be Muller butter on the shelves? There could be Muller butter on the shelves, yes. Of course, farmers haven't always seen eye to eye with Muller blockading the plant several times, most recently in September. At times it's been very difficult, uh, of course, and uh, uh, never liked. Uh, uh, fortunately, the farmers who are supplying us have in general, uh, even over the past 12 months, have been uh, very happy with, uh, with our performance in, uh, in the market. And it's just sometimes uh, unfortunate that uh, we're also being selected by uh, some of the people who do not uh, supply uh, us. Farmers are now getting a record price for their milk. They'll be hoping this new butter plant is one way customers like Muller can carry on paying them at this level. Well, let's pick up on that point about milk prices. This is a graphic that shows you how milk prices have gone for the past few years. These are pence per litre average prices. Some farmers will get more, some a bit less. And as you can see, since 2011, when they really were very low, say farmers, where they couldn't really make any money, they've been climbing. And now in October, the most recent numbers we have show that farmers are getting, on average, about 33 and a half pence per litre. Now that is a historic pie, so that should be good news. Let's talk to a dairy farmer who farms here in South Staffordshire, Andrew Porteous. So, Andrew, first of all, you're milk goes to Muller Wiseman. How do you feel about the butter factory? I think it's great news. We're long overdue. Some good news in the dairy sector and uh, I'll look forward to uh, supplying them in the future. So let's talk a bit about this extra money. You're getting a historic high for your milk. Where's that money go on a farm like this? Well uh, as you can imagine feed costs are, are still high and um, we've uh, got overdrafts to pay off after the terrible summer last year. We have had a better summer this year and uh, long term, we'll be looking to, uh, to, to sort of invest if we can keep the milk price high. And do you think the milk price could stay at these kind of levels? Well, I hope so. Um, Rumours are it might we might get a little bit more in January. And uh, but this, like, like you say, this butter plant uh, gives gives us a bit bit more stability uh, for the future. And uh, very briefly, uh, what's the long term plan for the farm? Would you like to take on more people, employ more people? That would be our ultimate aim on our farm, um, to employ somebody, perhaps have a few more cows and have a greater work-life balance. Andrew, thank you very much for that. Now, I think farmers, the 1,200 farmers supplying Muller Weissmann's right across the UK will be looking at today's news and thinking if Muller can make more money, that means there's more chance they can keep paying farmers at these higher prices they've been seeing for the past few months. Back to you, Mary. Okay, David Gregory Kumar, thank you.